In part two of squirrel feeder project, I want to do today an FEM analysis of the project of the entire build. So in the FEM workbench, um, select an analysis. So it's the big A that looks familiar from Microsoft Word software and also add a solver into it. So these are the default steps that you'd have to follow. And add a material. I want to use uh, PLA material if I, I would print this material uh, project so PLA generic one would do now the next thing would be to support uh, to identify the support system so on this specific build I want to use the back end as my support surface uh, that's where I would be nailing this to the tree or like a back of the, my house now let's add some load into it. Um, I want to account for one live squirrel sitting on top of the glass jar and also some food, so say 500 grams. Um, so that much of load I want to apply on this, on this total uh, body. And 500 grams, I didn't know how much it makes up in Newton. So ask Uncle Google, how much 500 gram makes up in Newton? and that should be about 5 newtons so divided by 100 gram becomes newton should be easy to remember next time so let's add 5 newton in there and also check the direction make sure it is downward so we have the solver we have the material we have the support entered we also have the load the only thing left is the mesh now I have three components uh, as, as part of the body. I'll have to make them a union because the solver can handle only one mesh. So now that we have one body, let's go ahead and then try to make a G mesh out of it. And the maximum element size, it actually varies from project to project. Let's see if 200 works out. Now my computer was crying to make this mesh because this is a fairly complex and look at that we have a warning uh, in red see if it works out so write an INP file that's also standard procedure in the FEM workbench so every time after mesh I'd have to write an INP file and now click the solve solution that uh, FEM analysis again it took a long time and then it says it couldn't do it because remember that red warning during the mesh development and you can see these white dots as a green dots in the mesh every time these dots appears the analysis could not be finished so let's try with n mesh i don't know what's the basic difference between g mesh and n mesh but let's give it a try fake it till you make it right so write the inp file and then head the FEM hopefully finger crossed after a long time it worked uh, the, the the mesh did work out this time but going forward every time I hit um, space to hide it or like bring it back the computer was like crying it was putting a heavy load on on my computer so I want to see, I want to visualize how this load would deform the object. Um, and I can do that in the CCX results. Double click on it and that will give me some options to actually see the displacement and stresses. So as you can see, uh, the minimum is zero millimeter. That's the displacement. And because I have displacement selected now, the maximum is 34 micrometers, so which is like little to nothing uh, displacement uh, on this object. For 500 grams, this project won't be dis like there will be no deflection at all, almost no deflection. But if there were any, it would be at the farthest corner, so which makes sense. It's a cantilever setup, so the, the farthest corner would have the most displacement. Now at the stress, it says the 285 kPa 
kilopascal would be the maximum stress for this PLA material. We will go back and see actually in the materials, see how much maximum stress it can handle. Um, so that's one, one FEM uh, analysis that will give you, say, if the material will fail. So remember it was 285 kilopascal and um, dang, I don't know how, how the, what is the maximum stress from this material. I'm sure there will be some correlation between Young's modulus and then KPA. So that's my next target actually to relate this maximum stress with the Young's modulus to see actually this material will fail. I definitely will have to do some uh, homework. But until now, this looks cool. I can visualize the stress and the displacement. I hope you liked it. I will be working more on these FEMs going forward. Till then, uh, stay safe. Thank you for watching. Bye.